What's up you guys? What's really really good? Welcome back to my Chanel. My name is Stacey Asablaca. If you've never been here before, but if you have, hi girl. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be getting my nails done. I haven't gotten my nails done in a while. It's been over two weeks for sure because these were the nails for my wedding. Before we get started though, I do want to show you a little bit of what I'm wearing because I'm so excited. I found these tennis skirt shorts at pink from Victoria's Secret pink and they're so cute they come with shorts at the bottom so I absolutely love them because every time I wear a skirt I just feel like so girly so cute you know I already got my workout in this morning I actually ended up walking for a whole hour on my standing desk treadmill oh my god i just feel so good because you know when you're like doing things and you're like in a row and you're like i'm just killing it everything's working out how it's supposed to be i love it like that's how i feel today really quick my outfit this shirt is from alo which is a-l-o i got a nordstrom rack though a long time ago so it's really cute i wear it all the time my shoes are nike my jewelry is apodaca jewel this is the cielo necklace which is still available and i actually found a little bit of extra of cascadia rings i don't know if they'll be available by the time that i'm posting this but you guys can definitely go to the link here if you want to shop any up like a jewel i actually did my hair in like a clean girl like braid style i feel like my hair is finally long enough to be in a braid and it looks so cute let's go in the car so that we can go get our nails done and we'll talk more in the car i haven't been to a walking nail shop I literally couldn't tell you the last time. When's the last time I went to a nail shop? I can't tell you. Does anybody remember the last time I went to a nail shop? Let me know in the comments down below. But it might be well over a year. First of all, I don't even remember the last time I made a nail video. Second of all, I just, like, lately, before I got my nails done for my wedding, I have been doing my nails on my own. I hadn't been getting acrylic. Like, I don't know. Like, you guys kind of know I go, like... I go in and out of the whole like nails thing, right? Now, I really like the way these nails look. These nails were done amazingly. They look really natural. Everybody loved the shape. Everybody thought they looked really, really good. Now, my thing is, and the reason why I don't continue to go to Instagram nail techs is I love Instagram nail techs. I think they deserve the world. You guys know I'm always on their side. Like, I think you guys should tip above and beyond anything they ask. Like, it's amazing. I love Instagram nail techs. The only thing and the only reason why I'm coming to a nail shop right now is because number one i don't like driving over half an hour to go get my nails done every instagram nail tech that i know is really far from me and i end up having to go really really far to go get my nails done i sit for 30 minutes without traffic an hour with traffic and i just don't like it right the other thing is i don't know why and i don't know if this is a good or a bad thing but usually when i go get my nails done with an independent nail artist they take forever <laughs> that's nothing against them i don't like to rush people especially when they're working at their own thing like it's great but i just don't have the time to be sitting there getting my nails done for two to three hours and something about nail shops is number one because they get paid based on commission they want to get you in and out of there as fast as possible so they don't even talk to you which i have no problem not talking at the regular nail shops they're literally like what do you want this okay cool let's do it let's go boom boom pass vamanos i try to look for the best rated nail shop around my area i found one the reviews are four stars out of five with around 200 reviews so it's a hit or miss i'm gonna walk in it's a thursday at 1 23 p.m so there shouldn't be a lot of people the wait shouldn't be too long like i said it's about to be 1 30 these are my nails before let me show them to you once again this is just regular acrylic with a little bit of glitter on top i'm gonna cut them short i really don't know what i'm doing for my nails i'm probably just gonna do like a regular polish i'm gonna pick a color i'm not even gonna do a nail design we're gonna see how long it takes so starting time is 1 30 so here's the different things we're gonna see shape size etc a ver como le hacen price and how long it takes and overall just experience i'll let you guys know about it are we coming back to the nail videos i have no idea but we're doing the nails today 1 30 let's see at what time i come out hopefully it doesn't take forever vamonos
it's officially 2.22, 50 minutes. I just walked out. Let's talk about it. I'm out of the nail salon. I actually came to park like on a random street so that I can talk to you guys because I genuinely couldn't wait. And as somebody who talks to with her hands, it's honestly so hard to not talk with my hands. So let me just show you right off the get go. These are the nails. Do we love? Do we like? Okay, so I went for like a, I thought it was like a spring green, but once she put it on, I was like, oh my God, but it's a moco green, but <laughs> it is what it is. Once I already picked it, I was like, I'm committing to it. It's okay. It's spring moco vibes. It is what it is. We don't always make the best choices. Let me know if you guys like the color first of all. Let me show you the shape. This is the shape. I did cut it a little bit. She did like sand them down a little bit because they were really, really thick and i personally really really like the shape i like the shape i like the color i like the length and i'm kind of surprised with how fast it was i went in there at 1:30. i got out at 222 so that's literally 52 minutes to get a nail fill 50 minutes is like a dream come true especially because as you guys know i have so many more responsibilities now spending 55 minutes getting my nails done a dream come true here are some of the not so good things that came with getting my nails done or i think that come with getting your nails done at nail shops all of the time so first of all i will say it was so funny to me because i'm not like no no soy buena persona muy asquerosa yo soy muy like go with the flow like I don't know, like, no me, da, no me dan asco muchas cosas, la verdad. Like, I'm not, like, a very, like, oh, my God, I can't believe she did that type of person, right? I was getting my nails done, so I had my hands like this, and she was doing this to my hands, and then she goes, and she kept going. Like, I don't know if she, like, smelled herself, and even saying it, I'm like, oh, people are going to think that's really weird. I mean, it wasn't, like, a thing for me to be like, oh, my God, I need to get the hell out of here. Like, no, to me, it was just funny that she, like, smelled herself. Because maybe, like, to her, she smelled ugly. But, I mean, she didn't smell bad to me. This sounds so weird. Is there going to be, like, Stacy never go back there? But I didn't really mind it. I didn't. I really didn't mind it. And that's really basically, like, the only thing that made me go, like, huh, that's kind of weird, but whatever. Like, it really wasn't a big deal. I know some people are going to find it nasty. And some people would be like, oh, my God, that's enough for me to never go back but she didn't smell bad she literally just did something that maybe she felt really comfortable doing which i have no problem with so it's not like a reason for me to be like oh my god i never want to go back to that place ever again let me know if that would be something that would make you not want to go back because we're all different and if you wouldn't go back because of that that's 100 percent okay now let me tell you how much I paid because girl I haven't done these nail videos in a long time and I feel like I haven't gone to a nail shop in a long time and I feel like whenever you go to like independent artists of course everybody gets to charge whatever they want and I 100% stand behind people charging their worth but there's something so nice about a nail shop like a classic nail shop where you just go and you already know que no vas a pagar con un ojo de la cara literal I didn't know how much it was to do a fill. I just sat down, I let her do her thing. Obviously she did gel polish because I asked for gel polish. Once we were done, she was like, okay, it's gonna be $45. What? $45 for nails. And they look really good. You guys, I know maybe some of you guys are gonna be like, Stacy, that's what I pay all the time. You've just been overpaying. But I hadn't paid less than $90 for nails in such a long time that I'm like, Oh my god, that's a steal. Like, if you get your nails done every two weeks and you pay $45 every time, you're literally paying what I used to pay for one time to going to get my nails done. So it's a steal. I feel like I found a new nail shop that I can go to, that I feel comfortable in, that they do a good job. And we'll see how these nails hold up. <gasps> I kind of love them. I did end up paying, tipping her $10. So it was over 20%. So I ended up paying $55. So it was amazing. They accepted Apple Pay because I don't have my debit card. If you watch DNS vlogs, you know why. Um, but yeah, like it was like a really good deal. I really like the shape and I'm like fascinated by them. I really, really like them. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys like them? oh my god i know like look there's like good and bad things about both independent artists and about going to nail shops you just have to take what comes with one or the other and 55 minutes 55 dollars a dream come true generally a dream come true the nails are cute and it looks like i'm gonna be going back 
to nail shops because I love it. I'm fascinated. I feel like the only thing that's bad about nail shops is that you never really know what you're gonna get, especially because you can't really make appointments because even if you make appointments, they you like won't hold themselves to it, you know? So like, I hope that next time I go to the nail shop, I'm able to get the same lady because I already liked her, even though everybody else also seemed like they did a good job there. Definitely keep you guys updated as to how these nails do. Let me know, do you go to independent nail artists? Are you an independent nail artist? Or do you go to nail shops? How much would you pay for an acrylic fill with gel like this? What do you think about the color? Do you think I pay too much? Do you think I pay too little? Do you think I didn't pay enough or just right? Definitely let me know what you think. I'm like fascinated. I feel like I have forgotten about how wonderful nail shops were and now I'm like, yes, finally. But the trick is you have to find a good nail shop. You can't just walk into any nail shop, girl. You cannot just walk into any nail shop and think that you're gonna get good nails because trust me, you and I have been through enough when it comes to nail shops. So that's gonna be it for me. Let me know what you think down below. Las quiero mucho, mucho, mucho. Que Dios me las bendiga. Quédate mucho. Respeto más. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.